matches in WWE are predetermined, and the wrestlers work together to put on an entertaining show. Like any performance, things can go wrong, and we saw a number of WWE matches in 2021 that got completely screwed up. Like when two wrestlers decide to actually fight each other. On Monday Night Raw, Nia Jax and Charlotte Flair were wrestling in a singles match. When the match started, it didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary at first, but things quickly started to change. Both women were a bit rough with each other, which likely started irritating them. To make matters worse, Flair didn't really sell one of Nia Jax's signature moves, the Spine Buster. Nia Jax later did the same thing, barely selling the impact of Flair's big boot. However, the moment that seemed to really set them off was when Nia Jax threw Charlotte on her head. Eventually, Flair snapped and gave Nia Jax a hard slap to the face, and that's when they really started fighting. Both wrestlers began smacking each other and legitimately tried to take each other down. After a bit of fighting, they tried to get back into the match, but they were clearly having some communication issues. They finally were able to end the match with Nia Jax defeating Charlotte Flair. According to people backstage, Nia and Charlotte didn't have any issues with each other before the match. I guess this was just a bad day at work. The Universal Champion's first title defense of 2021 was against Kevin Owens. They went one-on-one -on -one in a last man standing match at the Royal Rumble, and it was awesome. Rowan Reigns and Kevin Owens fought all over the arena, and there were a ton of crazy moments. It makes it all the more unfortunate that the match was bogged down by a big mistake. To prevent Reigns from getting to his feet, KO cuffed Reigns to a low part of the stage. Paul Heyman came to free Roman as the referee started counting. However, there was a problem and the handcuffs would not come off. It was so bad, the referee had to suddenly stop counting so Roman didn't lose the match. It took Heyman a whole minute before he was able to free Roman Reigns, and the entire time, Kevin Owens had to pretend he was too hurt to do anything. After getting the handcuffs off, Roman quickly choked out Kevin Owens and won the match. After losing her Raw Women's Championship, Nikki A.S.H. teamed up with Rhea Ripley. They soon became the number one contenders for Natalya and Tamina's Tag Team Championship. A week before their title match, Nikki A.S.H. and Tamina decided to go one-on-one. -on -one. The match was going fine until about five minutes into it. Nikki a post-match fight broke out to help end this awkward situation. I'm guessing Tamina was supposed to win the match, which is why her theme song started playing and they announced her as the winner. Big E started 2021 as Intercontinental Champion. One of his first rivals was Apollo Crews, and they had several matches against each other. Crews failed each time, but kept asking for one more match. When Big E denied him yet another title shot, that's when Apollo Crews snapped. Apollo attacked Big E, and the two ended up going one-on-one -on -one again at Fastlane. The match was a pretty solid contest against two of WWE's brightest wrestlers. Unfortunately, the finish was completely messed up. Watch this clip and see if you can figure out who looked like both of their shoulders were on the mat. However, Biggie was the one who was declared the winner. Apollo Crews took it well. 2021 did not start off well for Shayna Baszler and Charlotte Flair. The two women had a singles match on Raw in January. The match ended only about a minute after it started due to Nia Jax, Baszler's tag team partner, attacking Flair. Dana Brooke, Mandy Rose, and later Lacey Evans all ran into the ring and a big brawl broke out. This set up a 3 on 3 tag team match, and this is when things fell apart. Shayna Baszler and Charlotte Flair ended up outside the ring. The two acts